What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Sneaker Mom, back in the building, back with another review for you guys. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the new Yeezy Phone Runner, Sand. Let's get into it. We're gonna start off with the box. We got an all brown box, pretty much nothing on the outside of the box. We're gonna open up the box and it says phone, and it says all Then we're gonna read the front of the box of the tag, and it reads easy phone runner. And the colorway is sand, sand, sand. Let's get into the details of the video. Like I said, the easy phone runner sand, main ingredient of this video. So let's get into it. Alright, alright. First of all, I would like to first of all start off by saying I always have had a love and hate relationship with this shoe. At the beginning, I was like, I'm not going to wear those. Never going to buy any of those. And here we go, three pairs later, still rocking with these phone runners. They are a super comfy shoe. And to me, they still look like Predator, but they are super comfy. So I'm rocking with them now. And let's go ahead and get into the aspects of the shoe. As you can see, pretty much it's an all, all EVA phone shoe all EVA foam going throughout the whole shoe. You had these nice different cutouts coming throughout the shoe all on the side. Right here on the top of the shoe, you had these cutouts right here. Cutout right here where you go in with your ankle on the inside. Inside of the shoe, pretty much nothing. But except on the side, it reads Yeezy Foam Runner, made in the USA, right here on the side of the shoe, right here across the uh, side of the ankle part. We're gonna go to the inside, it also reads, it just says made in USA, and it has a little size tag right here on the inside. Coming to the back of the heel, you had this nice little hook thing going across the back of the heel with that little extra cushion of that EVA foam right here in the back of the shoe. Very nice. I guess that just helps you with more comfort and helping your ankle and uh, foot stay in the shoe while you have them on. Gonna go to the bottom of the shoe. You got it all lump, little lumpy materials, but you don't feel those lumps when you put them on. They just feel super comfy and super squishy on the bottom. So like I said, overall, just a very nice shoe. Super comfortable, super just, I mean, easy shoe to just put on and go. Um, I wear these pretty much more than I wear my slides now. I mean, they're just a, a shoe that I can just throw on. I don't have to worry about, you know, thinking about what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put them on and go. Most of the time I wear these without socks, but I know most people wear them with socks. Me, I just prefer them without socks, but since we're getting into the fall and the winter season, I definitely will be throwing socks on with them because this is still an all-around shoe. It's not just a summer shoe because it has all these holes in it. You can wear them year-round, throw your socks on, throw your uh, sweats on, and you're good to go. But um, yeah, that's pretty much for this shoe. This was the right shoe. Let's get into the left shoe. Look the same exact way. You got your all EVA foam coming across the shoe. I would still say that this is like a light beige, off white material. It's not white like it looked like it could go for a white, but it's mainly like a light, light beige material. So, which is good. I'm glad it's not actually white because white will get super dirty, even though these could get dirty also. But one thing about the foam runners, they're super easy to clean. Get you a rag with some water, a little bit of soap wipe it off, you get to go, look like new, pretty much. They are very, very doable, last a very long time. I like, you, you can wear them like every day and it still wouldn't wear down unless you just climbing mountains or something like that or hiking in them or something. Overall, like I said, very durable shoe. Um, pretty much uh, these right here, I would say sizing wise. Um, these, I say, I would think these would fit a little different from my Onyx pair because these right here were made like I said, in the USA, and the Onyx pair was made in China. So the Onyx pair I had, they fit a little tight, even though I got the same exact size. I got the Onyx pair right here in a size six, and they're just a little bit snug when I wear them uh, with my socks, but without socks, they're okay. But with socks, a little snug, not too bad. But these right here, I got the same size, same size six, and I still have some a little extra room on that side. So I don't know if it's something different about the China pair and the USA pair, but to me, these fit just a little bit more loose, even though I would say still stick to your full size up it's like you do in Yeezy slides on these. But if you don't have to, don't go over a full size or a half a size where well, they don't go a half a size. So don't go over 
a full size up and you should be good to go. Cause like I said, you, if you're gonna wear socks with them anyway, you should be good. But most people, like I said, um, they usually go up a full size of these or two sizes, only go up a full size. You should be good to go in these. But like I said, overall, just very nice shoe, very doable, nice colorway. I didn't have a light pair, so I'm definitely glad I was able to get a light pair. Both of my pairs, I have a dark, had an honest pair, and then I had those, uh, like an ochre or whatever they call them pair that's a little darker, like a more tannish color. But um, overall, very nice shoe, very durable. Y'all let me know down in the comments below. Do you have any phone runners? What color do you like the best? Did you go for these? Was you able to hit? I was able to actually hit these on the confirm app, which I was surprised because I usually don't hit on there too often. And I would get my last hit on there was the uh, Yeezy Core Reds 350s. And I went for these and I was like, ah, I'm not going to hit. And what do you know? I was able to hit on them. So a retail phone runner is always a good day in my book. So glad I was able to cop these for retail. Retail for $90. So not bad. They came out on August the 26th, I think. So. I just received them, so it took a while for them to actually get here, but overall, not bad. But um, that's all I got for y'all today. I'm going to quit rambling. Y'all let me know if y'all got anything for me. Uh, continue to like and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can know when I post all my videos. Follow me on Instagram at sneakermom1721. And this is all pretty much I got for y'all today, the Yeezy Phone Runner. Oh, I'm at Sand. I'm about to say Ochre. Okay, Yeezy Phone Runner Sand. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these. And like I said, that's all I got for y'all today. So until the next time, it's your girl Sneaker Mom. Peace.